Hello and welcome to Doug Thugging. My real name is John Sanders. How funny is that? You know, I call it Doug Steele and whatever the fuck. But that's a long story and you'll be able to find all that stuff out on my website, DougFuckingSteele.com. That's F-U-C-K-N-S-T-E-E-L-E. Uh, today's date is Sunday, December 6th. My birthday's in nine days and it's 1041 a.m. We are 17 hours ahead of... California time uh dad write that down because you always fucking get it wrong and uh, get calls at three in the morning don't do that that hasn't happened in a long time now that he's got a smartphone he can you know google Melbourne time and that's pretty much it so yeah uh I got my gmail open on my laptop I've got my things to uh talk about and here we go I don't think I've ever promoted my website on here, but I'll do it now. I mean, why have a podcast if you're not going to promote something, right? So, DougFuckingSteel.com, uh, photos, clips, you name it. You can you can hear about my illustrious past when I was in a band in San Jose, California called Sinister Sam, and we only played the one club. We used to support bands like Forbidden and Violence and Psychofunkapus and Mordred and... Uh, X, we were like a crossover metal thing, so we could do punk, we could support punk bands, funk, well, not really funk bands, but we did have some funk going on, and um, and metal, and it's funny, when we su- we supported violence twice, and uh, <laughs> we'd kick into the funk shit, you could see the guys in violence kind of tilt their head like dogs, so they dug the, the, the metal shit, but as soon as we went a bit Zappa-ish or a bit weird, they're like, nah, fuck this. And I think it's funny. So there you go. Go there. You can read up on a whole, a whole bunch of shit. And you should check out my blogs as well because what I've written them, number one. And number two, uh, look, I was graded by um, oh that one guy in that one movie that did that one thing. Yeah, he said my shit is, quote unquote, average. So definitely check that out. Um, in other news, my wife got a bike yesterday. Um Without going into too much detail, her parents are really, really generous, awesome people. And um, if one is, it, and she's got a brother. So if somebody is perhaps struggling and they give one of the kids money, they give the other kid the exact same amount. So Christmas came early for her and she went out and bought herself, I think it's called a Flex. I don't know. It's like a, it's a hybrid bike. So you can ride it on the street. And you can also ride it uh in the mountains or some shit but uh so she's over the moon she's stoked do i have a picture i don't know but uh it's black with some green stripes every now and then it's awesome i i love it like i told her look when you're not riding it i'm probably going to give it a crack until my back starts hurting and then i'll have to fucking stop so she got a bike and congratulations to my lovely wife alex liberty jane sanders (laughs) um Let's see, today, like I said, is December 6th. My birthday is on the 15th. I'll be 47 years of age, and mentally, I feel about 23. Physically, I feel about 114. Uh, it's weird, you know, you, you walk to the mirror. You're, you're thinking about yourself one way. You walk to the mirror, and you're like, oh, fuck, I'm that guy. The guy that's uh, going bald in the back and has white beard hair. Like, I'm a proper fucking old man. I got friends that got grandkids. You know how fucking nuts that is? Yeah, I don't know. I, I don't see I don't see how people can have their shit together enough to have children, but gla- kudos to you. I'm going to do the right thing for me, and we're not having kids at all, so we're going to be spending whatever money we were going to spend on them. We're going to go traveling, and tuition will be, yeah, our travel money. There's so much more guitar gear that I want. It's not even fucking funny. Not to mention a recording studio. Anyway. So, yeah, my birthday. And and I want just normal shit. Like, uh, I don't know. I even forgot. Like, I emailed off my um, Christmas list. I don't know. King Diamond shirts are on there. It's just uh, guitar strings, King Diamond stuff. Maybe some guitar pick wedgies, guitar strings, um, I'm, and, and underwear and socks. Once you get older, as an older man, probably 40 and above, Underwear and socks are, they're, they're wonderful to have. Like, uh, I can never have enough. And the th- funny thing is, is that apparently Ted Bundy had a massive sock fetish. So when he'd go out stealing credit cards and shit, when he wasn't killing women, 
he would, um, yeah, buy massive amount, especially socks. He was a sock fanatic, so it's like he wanted a crisp, clean pair every day kind of deal, which I do find a little bit interesting. And he was a habitual nose picker. Not that I can relate. And moving on. So my amps are still not back, but you know what? You cannot rush perfection. So um, Simon Cotter still has those bad boys, and I have every bit of faith that he will um, restore them to their proper glory. And I'm not stressed because, I mean, I don't think, I mean, it's Christmas time and, you know, everybody's kind of doing their own thing. Uh, I want to congratulate Alarms Scott Young. He just notified me the other day that uh, he went and bought a Kemper profiling amp, which is awesome. He's going to, I'm sure he's going to have a lot of fun. He's a very smart chap. Uh, He'll know how to drum up some absolutely fucking wicked tones. And between his Kemper and my Veta, we will have a lot of different wacky uh, sounds coming out of our amps. So I am looking forward to that. Congratulations, Scotty. You deserve it. You worked hard for it. Fucking good on you. You get a Ibanez universe, that's when I'll start getting jealous and shit and start hating you behind your back. No, that's not true. Well, maybe. But I you know, I get jealous for stupid reasons and I gotta I gotta tell myself that like uh you know, success isn't limited to just a few people. Like, there's enough r- room in the world for people to be successful. And there's enough room in the world for people to have stuff. And I don't know. I'm I'm just a weird fucking guy uh, at times. Um, if you didn't know it, I'm in a band called Brothel. Uh, basically, Brothel is like a nine-piece band. We play once a year in Melbourne, Australia. Um, we wear suits, so our identities are pretty much... You know, unless you know one of the guys in the band, you don't really know who we are. And we play songs that are extremely offensive, like Your Dog's Cunt and Fuck the Sperm and a whole bunch of other songs. Anyways, uh, we recorded an album, I think in October, that we did the music for it. I smashed out 16 songs uh, in, no, 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 32 songs in two days. Uh, so I did, I think, six or seven hour days uh, and smashed out 16 songs a day, playing through a click, which I'd never done before. And I played very, very Charlie Watts style. Not a whole lot of Neil Peart going on. But live, you're going to get all that. You're going to get the the odd meter. You're going to get the fucking fluctuating meter. You're going to get the the over-the-top drum fills. And, and it's fucked because, A, I don't have a drum kit. B, um... I used the drummer who, who who who's on before us, the band that's on before us. I used their kit, so it's a kit I've never used before. And we rehearse usually a week before we play. But the good news is, is that the, the band is usually tight, and it usually sounds good. So not only does it sound amazing and heavy, because we are playing in B, uh, both guitar players have mess of boogies. And like, it sounds frightening, and the bass player uses distortion. So it's a very much... SOD type of sound, but just tuned to the fucking bowels of hell. Uh, it is a very entertaining show, and I th- you should probably check it out before you die, or at least get on YouTube and type in Brothel um, Gang Bang 40th Birthday, and there's a whole show there. And yeah, nothing is more fun than trying to fix your hi-hat in the middle of a fucking set. Uh, what am I doing today? Uh, I'm supposed to go over to my brother-in-law's house in Greensboro or Bandura to finish off or not finish off, but yeah, finish off our last podcast. But, uh, our guest is not showing up. That happens quite a bit. So I said, look, I'll come over if we do like a drum and bass track that we can sing over, that we can rap over, that I can put some metal guitars over. And he said, fine, be there at four. So I'm going to do that, son. And uh, I'll probably post whatever happens on YouTube as I as I do. Um, look, that's really about it. Uh, everybody's obviously gearing up for Christmas. I hope everybody gets what they want. I hope everybody gets what they need. And just remember, if you're feeling down in the dumps, that uh, A, somebody has it off worse than you. B, be grateful for what you have. I understand those fucking grateful journals on Facebook and just, you know, my wife works at a stationery store, and they have grateful journals, and it's just good to write down, look, what you have. Every time I get bummed out, you know, I want this, I want that, I can't get it, I'm sad, wah. It's like, well, fuck, you got two Ibanez Universe, two of them. 
You got your fucking, you got two amps. You've got a fucking pedal board. Like, there's, there's a lot to be grateful for. And, you know, I'm grateful for the microphone I'm holding in my hand and the video cameras that I have and, and the fact that, that I can post my videos and my thoughts on YouTube as soon as I, I say them, really. And um, my, 18 year, my 18-year-old self would be flipping out, especially with just the smartphones. And I've talked about this before in the past, but I'll bring it up again. Like, technology's fucking rad. It's only a matter of time before they're able to um, print spinal columns for people with bad backs and shit like that. I mean, that's that's right around the corner, people. And obviously the big one is cancer. There's the, they got to be having a fucking cure for that pretty goddamn soon. Okay, now I'm getting all fucking wild i'll let it go now but uh yeah until next time uh have a great life and all that good shit i'm wishing you positive vibes and uh check out my friend's um podcast the vinyl guide Uh, my friend nate goyer type in google nate goyer the vinyl guide and some shit will come up and also uh if you want to check out rad guitar players check out rick graham g-r-a-h-a-m if you want to learn something cool oh fuck i forget his name I'll just say the French guy. <laughs> I, I, I don't know. I, it's been so long. It's been so long. I found out. Anyway. Um, and that's it. Just a lot of love and positive vibes out this way, even though I don't sound too positive now because it's, it's, it looks like shit outside, but it's kind of sweltering and it's warm in our house. And I'm, I've got, I'm wearing uh, track, track suit shorts and no shirt. And I'm just, I'm fucking sweating. It's disgusting. And until next time, I will talk to you soon. So rock and fucking roll. Bye.